check out the scrumptious spread in this one. A sandwich, a roll, and a salmon and eggs thingy. So, the other day, I was passing on Warren Street here in Woodbrook, and I saw this sleek, modern looking building with a sign out in front called Paz Coffee and Kitchen. And I was like, I should probably check this out, you know? This new local coffee shop. Ooh, what's up, my Trinbago Vibe peeps? Welcome to another edition of Trinbago Vibes. And I'm here at Paz Coffee Shop. We're gonna check it out for the first time. So let's go. They open from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. during the week and 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on a Saturday. If you want to check them out. Now, let's check out their menu. Although I'm mainly here for the coffee, eh? but they have some nice options for your appetite. As a matter of fact, we'll order something in a little bit. But check out this wall, they have like different items and stuff you could buy as well, as well as their coffee to take out. All right, let's go place an order. And yeah, you get this neat device that will let you know when your order is ready. Now this is a cool spot to get like utensils and stuff. And it also includes some reading material. You are what you read. Now that's a preview of the outside, which we'll explore in a bit. But first, let's find ourselves a table. Now to be honest, eh, when you enter here, I did not get that coffee aroma you would normally get in a coffee cafe or coffee shop. But the decor, it is stylish, slightly fancy. But then again, it kind of given off that Starbucks vibes if you have ever visited a Starbucks here in Trinidad. All right, looks like my coffee is ready. I got an Americano. Since they didn't have any of their brewed coffee at the moment, an Americano is basically a diluted espresso with hot water. Now, espresso is a style of how you make coffee, so think of it as a strong coffee. So the Americano is, is a diluted version of that. Oh, that's some good coffee though. All right, let's just head outside. All right, so they have a nice outside deck as well. Pretty cool. So yeah, so now that you've seen the inside, you've seen the outside. Let's go wait on our order. All right, so the cinnamon roll that we ordered, this is just before the food comes, has arrived. Now let's try this out. So this is a vegan cinnamon roll. I'm not sure what makes it vegan. Probably no eggs, nothing. And The texture a little different from the animal cinnamon roll. They're not as ready. Alright, so it, the texture a little different. It tastes more like a cake. Right. So I'm also joined in this one by Julia Mean, my wife. Yeah. Now, mm. now it's good. Because I'm not even. I would not even guess this is a vegan something. Yeah, that's actually that's pretty good though. Texture. Yeah. I mean, the texture it's a little is like. more dry than a normal cinnamon roll, but it tastes rather good. And this was, according to the bill, $28. Trinidadian dollars. So just waiting for the order a uh, Norwegian toast with some eggs, and I ordered like the Paz fried chicken. Might as well. Oh, yeah, you know I got a coffee, but Julia ordered Paz hot chocolate. Let's check that out. <laughs> it looks like a waffle. It does look like a waffle. <laughs> That's a hot chocolate. How is it? <laughs> it's very funky. Yes, it's <laughs> yeah, not chocolate flavor. Can you think? Hot chocolate? Um, I wouldn't say that. That's why I opened it because I wanted to see if it was looking chocolatey. Um, as I said it's very milky, it's yummy, it's pretty, it's good. I'm not sure where all the chocolate is because you know I am cut from the chocolate, it's chocolate, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, it's, it's not bad, but it's, it's like very light. There goes the beep. Time to collect the food. Foodie time! The past fried chicken, as you can see, it is basically like a fried chicken breast, pickles, the secret pass sauce, sriracha slaw, whole slaw kind of thing, and a brioche kind of bread. Yeah, let's do it. So the pass. Yeah. <laughs> this is real good. Not just too oily. 
the cabbage, have that nice post little crunch to it. It's seasoned good. And it, but it feels light. You could probably do with a hit more, more of salt in the chicken sandwich, but overall, it's not that bad. I actually feel like I'm eating healthy though. Now, the Norwegian toast is basically cream cheese, smoked salmon, onions, capers, on a slice of sourdough bread. Smoked salmon, cream cheese. Okay, from the jump, I can agree with you with the salt. It would have been nice if they had like salt and black pepper shakers on the table as well. So, if we want, we could have put some in it. But um, I understand where they're going with it. Because the salmon is salty. Now that I've chewed it a little bit more, I'm yeah. getting it mixed in with the nice cream and the cream cheese and the saltiness of the salmon. It, it working as a boil though. What is this? Onions. Pickle onions. Mm -hmm. Everything is really fresh on this. Yeah. This is capers. Oh, this is some big capers. I like how green and all the green is looking and everything. It does feel like I eat it healthy. Like a healthy indulgence. <laughs> All right, so this is Pa's Coffee and Kitchen. This was our first time here, which wasn't bad. The ambience is nice. Relaxing. Inside is very relaxing. Julia found an epic book she was reading. <laughs> and yeah, the wait time wasn't that bad no. at all. It was kind of semi busy. I got myself, you know, a, a grinded coffee to put in the Percolator to put in my, my, my percolator for later. So, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it's a cool spot, like a nice little chill vibe to go and sit down and have something fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the nice spot right here on Warren Street in Woodbrook. Yeah, this is still Woodbrook. It's Woodbrook. Is that Mukarapo? It feels Mukarapo ish. Well, it's in Paul's Spin, anyhow. <laughs> is it Woodbrook slash Mukarapo, whichever area. one area around that? Right opposite Bell Smith Street, right across the road, they have a drive through so you can come in, drive in to get whatever you want. It's local, locally ro roasted. Now, I believe they get their beans from Colombia and Brazil, but they roast it locally here in Trinidad. So, yeah. Starbucks, look out. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah so, but so far the food we had, it was good. It needed some salt in some cases. Like initially, when it is, I was eating the salmon and cream cheese on the um, sourdough bread. It felt like it needed salt, but that's like the end. So as I got more into it, I realized like the saltiness of the salmon was really blending well with all the cream cheese and the bread. So I didn't actually need the salt that much after. So like the dish chef know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 yeah, yeah. Like the chicken sandwich, it was good. Is their signature chicken sandwich? I mean, I've had better, mm. but it's not bad. Yeah. Right. If you come in here and you know drink a little coffee, I see they have tacos as well, which seems to be popular, and their waffles. So probably next time we might be able to try that out. Mm -hmm. I'm trying tacos. But this is Spa's Coffee House, Trinbago vibes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment what you all think what we should try next time we are here and what you all think about the overall place the food and everything right price wise it's more on the expensive side so this but is it a nice spot for a date yeah or like a little brunch or something i mean i wouldn't come you know every day or every other day but it's a nice little spot for a special occasion yeah and this yeah i mean for me yeah, yeah at least for us <laughs> yeah. right if you could afford those prices feel free you know where, where it is you know what they have You've seen what we have eaten. So until the next one, my Trim Vega Vibe peeps, stay awesome. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Later. <laughs>